We live in one of the most exciting and challenging times we as humans have ever seen. In fact, in the last 200 years after the Industrial Revolution, we have achieved so many things, from inventing all kinds of machines that makes our lives easier, to computers which are now even smarter than ourselves. But none of it came without a cost. Every advance we made, we used the resources our planet gave us. On our path building a modern civilization, we forgot that this planet is our home and that we need to take care of it. In fact, in 2017, more than 15,000 scientists around the globe signed a paper called The Last the second notice to humanity, saying that we need to take rising greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, and agriculture production very seriously, as they significantly raise the risk of a catastrophic climate change. More and more people around the world are starting to realize that we cannot continue like this, and that something has to change about the way we treat our planet. The question is, where to start? The answer is as simple as it is complex. It starts with us. Every one of us has a direct impact on the environment by choosing the way we eat, travel, and live our lives. Everything we buy or consume has an impact. The problem, however, is that it is extremely difficult and time-consuming for the average person to find out about it, what is our impact? Or do you actually know the impact of your coffee you had this morning, or the shoes you're wearing? I believe bringing transparency to our impact would make help us to make better decisions. Imagine each of you had to kill a chicken in order to put it on your sandwich. I bet you would see and value it differently. In fact, if we cut our daily meat consumption by half, we could lower our yearly carbon footprint by nearly 10%. And these statistics may be surprising for you, but it illustrates that we need to find answers to the following two questions. First, how do we manage it to gather information about the environmental impact of purchases we do? And second, how do we use this information to influence co consumers' behavior to benefit for the environment? To answer the question, we need to take one step backwards. Currently, our purchases decisions are heavily driven by external influences. Advertising is everywhere, and it's very effective. Even if we all, if we're not always be aware of it, we are getting constantly notched and influenced thousands of times every day. One of the most effective ways of advertising these days is by aggregating personal data fed it into algorithms which are able to analyze our spending behavior, predict our needs, and then present the products in a way that they're easy and accessible for us. What if I tell you that we can turn tables in this game? What if, if we could use the same algorithms to drive a positive change? So instead of using the data, to make us buy more products, let's use them to explain our impact. In 2017, I started a project that does exactly that. We take information from your bank and credit card company, combine it with publicly available information from social networks, search engines, and other sources, and match it with sustainability information from a variety of sources, such as corporate social responsibility reports, independent auditing um, companies, or other public services. 
we get as much information as possible to calculate the environmental impact of our purchases. We use that to tell you your impact of your day-to-day -day spendings behavior. In fact, in the future, we really hope that we come to a point where we can give you full transparency on the entire supply chains of every product we buy. So far, we're working with specialized nonprofit organizations and NGOs to collect interesting facts and background information around your purchases. We then all take this information, carefully arrange it, and send it to an app on your mobile phone. Our goal is it to provide you transparency and make those information easily accessible for you. In addition, we help you to offset your carbon balance, for example, by planting a tree. So what it looks like is you just fill up your car with gasoline, this is your CO2 impact, and if you not would like to donate 20p in order to plant a tree, all you have to do is tap yes or no. If you choose not to donate, this is perfectly fine. If you choose to do so, this setup makes it incredibly easy. What we want to do is explaining consumers their impact and giving them an easy and quick way to act on it for a more eco-friendly life. I believe modern technologies and the vast amount of data we aggregate every second provide an incredible opportunity if we use them wisely. I'm convinced that modern technology can help us to change tables in this game. Let us use the technology we have to educate consumers to drive a positive change. It's not about this planet. It's about your home.